So this is going to be another historic My League rebuilding. This is not a team that you have to download a roster for in the game. This team is already in the game, so I know a bunch of you guys are probably going to ask me because I always get those questions down in the comment section on my video. But yes, this is the 1990-1991 Portland Trailblazers. Uh, taking a look at the roster, we are led by Clyde Drexler. Then we have pretty much no one else that's safe on this team. We have Terry Porter and Jerome Kersey. But I might trade them just because they're average players, really, at best. Clyde Drexler is obviously not an average player, so he's not going anywhere. Locked up for three years, pretty much this whole video. Uh, what I did, though, all the teams that are from 1990-1991, I put them in the game as well. So we do have the 1990-1991 Warriors with Chris Mullen and Tim Hardaway and Mitch Richmond. And then we have the Bulls, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen. And then we have Horace Grant on this team as well. Jordan obviously leads this team. And then we have one more team. We have the 1990-1991 Lakers with Magic Johnson at the age of 31. We also have James Worthy, Byron Scott, Vladi Divac. So our team is not terrible. If you look at this rotation already, Clyde Drexler is our starting shooting guard. But that's pretty much, as I said, the only man that is safe on this team. So I'm going to go ahead and make some trades. And once I make my first trade, you guys will see it. So in the first trade today's video, Terry Porter heading over to the Toronto Raptors for Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry is probably someone that I can flip for a better point guard. So right away, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can get for him. Probably flip him for someone who's even better because typically Kyle Lowry, for some reason, is actually has some pretty decent trade value, even though I don't think I would ever trade him in real life as a point guard for anyone better because he is a very good point guard. All right, three and a half heel. He used to have three. I can get Scottie Pippen, which I might do. Uh, Mike Connolly, I could have got before. Uh, favors and go bear is not bad except I need a point guard to run this team um, I'm trying to think could I you know what I might do I'm gonna try to get wait ready proposed trade Kyle Lowry Lakers is it possible for me to get the snitch oh damn it I forgot it's the new oh, all right never mind um, who else do what I want all right I'm gonna look for someone once I make my trade you guys will see it so the trade that I decided to do, Kyle Lowry and Danny Ainge go into the Phoenix Suns for Eric Bledsoe and P.J. Tucker. P.J. Tucker can come off the bench. I feel like Eric Bledsoe is probably better than Kyle Lowry. Much better at the shooting guard or point guard position for us. And then I need to make a few more trades. I want to see what I can get for Jerome Kersey. Just because he's making a pretty good amount of money for someone who's not probably going to put up some great points for us. But I don't know. Other than that, we probably should be like a deep eight seed and maybe seven in the uh, Western Conference. Horace Grant is interesting, except he's on a uh, deal where he's not guaranteed to come back. But uh, I don't know if I'd rather have Horace Grant. Uh, and you kind of want a small forward in return. Um, I'm not seeing much. Steven Adams is interesting, but yeah, no, probably not going to do any of this. Uh, I am going to head over to the Wizards to get their first round pick because we're not, or, I mean, we'll probably make the playoffs. So. Might as well just get their first round pick. Uh, I'm not looking to do any of these deals. Uh, how about if I give you not this and not this? And how about if I just give you a second? All right, there we go. We get their first round pick this year. They'll take ours from next year, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number one, where hopefully we can make the playoffs. So this trade was just offered to me by the Los Angeles Clippers. Cliff Robinson and Mark Bryant heading over to LA for Jamal or Crawford and Jeff Ayers. With this trade, we do kind of dump a little bit of salary for the near future just because Mark Bryant is locked up on a deal for a while and I don't really want him on this team because he's not even playing and he's trying to make $3 million a year. I'm not looking to pay him that, but now we just improve our bench depth even a little more and let's continue the simulation. So at the end of season number one, Kevin Durant wins the MVP award, averaging 28 points a game, 9.5 rebounds, 8 assists with 1.5 steals. Carl Anthony Towns wins the Rookie of the Year award, averaging a double-double. Pretty impressive from a rookie. Brandon Knight wins the Sixth Man of the Year. Uh, uh, do, what? Don't we have Eric Bledsoe? All right. DeAndre Jordan. Actually, no. no we sent them Kyle Lowry. My bad. DeAndre Jordan made his way over to Cleveland. Probably a pretty good team, I would imagine. He wins Defense Player of the Year with 2.5 blocks. Reggie Jackson wins most improved, and Matthew Gatson wins the coach of the year as the Warriors do go 64 and 18. That was good enough for first in the Western Conference. I believe we were third. Uh, not positive, but Tim Hardaway on the All NBA first team. Not any other historic players. I'm just looking for Trailblazers. Uh, let's see if we can find any. Uh, there we go. Clyde Drexler, All NBA third team, up to a 91 overall. Great shooting guard for us. Uh, I don't think we're going to have anyone else. And that is exactly the case. But yes, we were the third seed in the Western Conference, 59 and 23 on the season. 
Uh, player stats on the air, Clyde Drexler obviously going to be our leading scorer with 22.5 points a game. Then Eric Bledsoe right behind him with 16.5. Then Kevin Duckworth with 14, pretty much 15, so not bad from him at all. And then Jamal Crawford, the acquisition halfway through the season, or not halfway, pretty much beginning of the season, not bad at all. Rebounds was Buck Williams with around 8.5, almost 9. Then uh, Kevin Duckworth with around 7.5. Assist was Bledsoe with 8.5, so he had a pretty good all-around season at the point guard position. Then Drexler with around 7.5. So, uh, we are five games back of the Golden State Warriors for first in the Western Conference. So even when it's not the current Golden State Warriors, they still find a way to make it so it's first in the Western Conference. Uh, Thunder were three games back. They were pretty much first the whole year, and they kind of choked at the end. And then we were third, and then the Lakers were three games behind us, eight games behind the Warriors for first. Now, let's see. We are taking on the San Antonio Spurs, a weird six seed. I feel like they would be higher, typically. Uh... They obviously have their duo of Marcus Aldridge and Kawhi Leonard. Uh, they don't look like they trade for anyone. Actually, no. I don't think they have Wilson Chandler. Um, I don't believe they have Wilson Chandler. Yep. Nope. They traded someone for Wilson Chandler. Not really going to go look and see who it is. As I say that, we tie or that we are tied at one in this series. We go up 2-1. We go up 3-1. Sim the round. We beat them in five. And now we're taking on the two-seeded Oklahoma City Thunder, who were pretty much the one seed the whole year. Uh, Westbrook and Durant. When they were still teammates, obviously Westbrook. I just I'm using the current 2K roster. They don't update it just because they don't want to update rosters for everyone because they'd rather just have the 2016 or 2015, 2016 rosters. Uh, but yeah, this is a very good team. Uh, we might have some tough time beating them. As I say that, we are tied 1-1 in the series. They go up 2-1. We are right, we tied up in two games, two games apiece. What's wrong with this rotation? All right, everyone seems to be a little bit tired. I can understand that. I don't really want to push this to a 10-man rotation though, just because John Brown. He's auto-generated. Uh, I probably should have signed some free agents, but too late for that now. We're down 3-2. All right, game seven. Fix the rotation a little bit. You got to play minutes, people. Simcast this. Uh, we're in Oklahoma City, and it does not look like we're going to make a comeback. Nope, we're lot losing. And yeah, we got eliminated. Let's sim the finals. My prediction is the Warriors uh, are going to... Warriors and Bulls. Am I right? Nope, Thunder and Bulls and the Thunder end up beating the Bulls in six. So at least we can say we lost to the team that won the championship. And Kevin Durant won your final MVP in six games and 38 minutes. Average 29 points, seven rebounds, nine and a half assists with two steals and one and a half blocks. Uh, Duncan, Allen, Nash, Retire, Popovich, Kurt Rambis, and Earl Watson. And that's the Hall of Fame class. Pretty much the same thing as it always is. Uh, let's hop into staff signing. Not really sure who the head coach is for this team. Uh, Daniel Sherman, all right, he's got pretty good numbers, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fire him. I mean, we third in the Western Conference isn't terrible, and when you have pretty good numbers like that, not gonna be mad about that at all. Let's sim right to the NBA draft, see what pick we have. Hopefully, we can get screwed. Hopefully, we have, like I'd say, top ten is acceptable because at least I can move it around in some assets. Okay, GG. All right, let's see what we can get for both of these picks. Ah, as soon as, of course, when I need the Wizards to be bad, of course they have to be good. Zebo and Zach Randolph. Zebo probably has no trade value at this point just because he is so old. Uh, not seeing anyone here. Not really seeing anything. Uh, how about if I... Could I package these for, like, the 12th pick? All right. This. Oops. No. Proposed trade. This. No. Pick. All right. Who has, like... Jesus, the 76ers have the first pick. All right. Who has like the twelfth pick? Or you know what? Ten. Give me ten. No. Give me give me ten. I'll give you some seconds. I'll give you a couple more seconds. Come on, one more second should do it, right? One more second. All right. You know what? I'll take ten, and I'm gonna try to move up to nine. Honestly, I feel like I have the assets on my team because I still have a couple players locked under contract if they really want it. Ninth pick right here. Um, Eric Bledsoe, no. Jerome Kersey, no. Buck Williams, no. Uh. Drazen Petrovic. I don't even know who this is, but um, you know what? I'll do this instead of Joe English. Give, give me not this year's second round pick. Just give me a second round pick next year. All right, there we go. I'll take that. Moving up, I want number eight. Uh, I just didn't want Joe English because it's just salary that I don't need, and I really could get honestly and get someone better in free agency. Perfect. Thank you very much. This is the 2K cheating way to get up in the draft. All right. Uh, eight, go to seven, if I can ever get there. Of course, they're always far away from me when I'm trying to find them. All right, seven, Phoenix Suns. Perfect, thank you so much. Just swap second round picks. No second round pick has more trade value than another one. Uh, go to six, unless I hope I just didn't pass it. Yep, six, Sacramento Kings. Um, all right, here's where it gets tough. Take him out. Why do you want to... That's just stupid. I don't know why they wanted to give me someone. 
I don't know. Never mind. All right, let's go up to five. Beautiful. I love it. I love cheating this game so much. It's so fun. Uh, four. Honestly, I'm willing to give up my picks because we're going to be good because I'm hoping we have a big free agency. Uh, take him out. Take him out. No, I'm not looking to give up J.J. Barea. Let me do this. All right, you know what? I'll do that. I'm going to hop right into the draft. I'll see you guys at our pick. All right, man, we're here at the fourth pick. 22 trade offers. The first three picks went basically the same way in real life, just different teams for the uh, second two. Uh, but uh, we can get Ben Simmons. Honestly, might do it. Let's just gonna look at the rest of the offers. Um, not seeing anything great. I don't want to just eat salary. I'd rather just like take Ben Simmons, which I'm probably going to. I can get Kyle Lowry back because we had him for a minute. Uh, I'll do this. I don't want Carl Anderson. Just give me a second round pick next year. Really? I no. I don't want Carl Landry. No. All right. You know what? Screw it. Why do you want to give me Carl? All right. They want to get rid of his salary. But I'm not looking to do that. Ah, <sighs> stop being annoying, 2K. All right. You know what? I'll take Carl Landry and I'll just trade him. All right. I'll see you guys at the end or at the thread rookie signings. All right, man, I'm here at rookie signing. Ben Simmons obviously was drafted first overall by the 76ers. We did trade for him. And then I did select Stephen Zimmerman with the 24th pick. This is who I traded Carl Landry for in a second. So I'd rather have him. P.J. Tucker, 5.5. Not really going to look to offer you that. Not 5.5. Pretty much 5.5. Uh, but LeBron and DeRozan are the two top free agents. Going to go after probably one of them. Jamal Crawford. All right. 29 million is kind of enough for Max. Not really. But we have... All right. We can't offer anyone the max. We only have seven players on the team. Ah, oh, LeBron is here. All right, I'm going to offer LeBron the most I can for him to come to Portland. And player option, no trade clause. Please tell me we're first. Oh, my God, we're first. Whew. And calm. We can get LeBron James. All right, this is actually a pretty good free agency class. I'm going to do this thing, which I saw, actually. Um, it's a good idea because, all right, we're not even first, but if they match that... Then he's a free agent next year, Drummond. Um, let's see. Wade, just in case LeBron doesn't work out. I know we have, um, what's his name? Why am I forgetting his name? All right, we're first on Wade's. And then White side, I'll offer that too. All right, we get LeBron into win, Wade. Going to go ahead and sign LeBron. Uh, so we take a look at this roster now. And yeah, we're pretty much good on players, really. We're going to have Ben Simmons play power forward for us. Uh, let's go ahead and just sign all of our guys who, who we have bird rights on back just because I do not have money for anyone else. So Jamal Crawford, come back to Portland, please. Your professional sixth man. Uh, player option. And PJ Tucker, please come back to Portland. You're a great bench player, even though you're probably not going to get many minutes. Pretty sure that you want to come back now that we have LeBron. We get PJ Tucker and Jamal Crawford. And it really doesn't matter just because everyone else really doesn't even play. So... Sim to player progression here. See how the team is looking. Probably should be pretty good. Uh, LeBron James, 96. Clyde Drexler is a 91. Eric Bledsoe is an 86. Jerome Kersey, 79. Ben Simmons, our new power forward, unless we play LeBron there, is a 79. And I'll see you guys with possibly some trades for the start of season number two. All right, so the starting five currently, Eric Bledsoe, Clyde Drexler, Ben Simmons, LeBron James, and Kevin Duckworth. Not going to change anything at all. Said I possibly might make some trades. Definitely not going to do that after I look at this rotation, how good it really looks. We're running an eight-man or nine-man rotation. I'm sorry. Um, I will run a ten-man just so we can get some definite power forward minutes with Carlos Boozer. Now I'll see you guys at the end of season number two, where hopefully we can win a championship. So at the end of season number two, for the second straight year, Kevin Durant is your MVP, averaging 30 and a half points a game, eight rebounds, eight assists, with one and a half steals. Ben Simmons. Of our Portland Trailblazers wins the Rookie of the Year with 13 points and 7 half rebounds and 4 assists. He had to share the ball a lot with LeBron James and Clyde Drexler, obviously. Greg Monroe wins Sixth Man of the Year award on the Milwaukee Bucks. Have not seen that before, so they probably signed someone, maybe Hassan Whiteside. Rudy Gobert wins the Defensive Player of the Year. Norris Cole wins the Most Improved Player Award. And our coach, Daniel Sherman, wins the Coach of the Year as he did go 72-10. and 10. That was definitely good enough for first in the Western Conference. Not by much, though, only around three and a half games over the Thunder. Uh, Magic Johnson on the All-NBA first team. No shock there, really, as he is even 32. Uh, let's see if we have any uh, Trailblazers, if I can find the Jordans on the All-NBA third team at 98 overall. Uh, okay, uh, any Trailblazers? Yes, we do. Eric Bledsoe, All-Defensive second team. And LeBron James, All-Defensive second team. 
Uh, obviously, we have Simmons on the all rookie first team. Uh, let's see anyone. Oh, all right, no one else. No Steven Zimmerman. I don't think he played at all. But 72 and 10 man, very impressive from this team. LeBron, obviously, our leading scorer with 20, pretty much 21. Then Drexler with 18. You guys can just look at the stats. Rebounds was also LeBron. And then Ben Simmons and assists was also LeBron. LeBron's just being LeBron. All right, let's go. Look, actually, I forgot to show you guys the standings. Four games ahead of the Thunder, who pretty much led it the whole season. But they did not. At the end. Timberwolves, a very good team, especially for an eight seed, probably, with their big three of Towns, Wiggins, and Levine. They did trade Rubio, it looks like. We're up one nothing. We're up 2 nothing. All right, we're up 3 nothing. Let's just sim the round. We do sweep them. Taking on the four-seeded New Orleans Pelicans. It looks like the Golden State Warriors lost to the Clippers. So the Clippers finally make it out of the first round. Congratulations, Clipper fans. Uh, Pelicans, where am I going? Uh, Pelicans. Yep, Anthony Davis, Drew Holiday, Tyreek Evans. Pretty good overall team. Uh, decent four-seed. As I say that, we lose game one. I can't say that and then lose. But we're up... All right, never mind. I mean, you'd think we'd continue to win against a four seed. All right, there we go. Got nervous for a second, but no worries whatsoever. Taking on the two-seeded Oklahoma City Thunder. Still got the duo of Westbrook and Durant. Oh, kind of scary, but all right. We're better. LeBron just needs to lock down Durant. And Eric Bledsoe needs to just play with Russ. All right, we're just, come on. We can't be down 2-1. This is not acceptable. We're in OKC. Come on. Oh, my God. All right. It's just ridiculous. <sighs> Backs against the wall. I hate the Western Conference so much. Come on. Just blow their brains out. All right. We just took off there. All right. Come back of the century. It's coming. It is coming. I mean, we have a really good bench, actually. I didn't even realize how good our bench is, actually. Like, we have two 80s on the bench. We can win against the Thunder in OKC. Come on. All right, good first quarter, decent first quarter. We're down by one. Good start to the second quarter. Huge second quarter, actually. Beautiful. Come on. Man, how do you blow a lead like this? I hate this. I, I'm done. All right, you know what? I'm going to make some trades in the offseason. I'm done with this. It's just I hate the Thunder so much. I'll see you guys with some trades for the start of season number two three i believe because i actually no i have to resign players I'm, I'm an idiot let it go um let's continue up here we have no draft picks uh, i think we have to redesign our coach but i'm gonna do all that uh sim to the draft we have no draft picks i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure yeah nope no draft picks okay i'm gonna resign players that i have to and i'll see you guys in free agency if we get someone or don't get anyone all right, man, I'm here at player progression, and the only asset I really did add to this team was Zach Randolph. I signed him to a kind of a veteran's contract, just $5.8 million a year. We were in the negative cap space, but since he is a veteran, it let me sign him. But LeBron is a 97, still Drexler is a 92, Eric Bledsoe is an 87, Ben Simmons is an 82, Jerome Crazy is an 81, Drazen Petrovic is an 80, Zach Randolph is pretty much an 80. I'm probably going to look to trade him. Actually, yeah, because I'm not. I want Simmons and LeBron to both play, and I'll see you guys at the start of season number two. So I decided the one thing we need on this team is a center that can come off the bench and really play some more minutes. Zach Randolph, don't really need him at the power forward position because we do have LeBron and Ben Simmons. Joel Embiid, welcome to the squad. Let's see. All right, perfect center minutes. So I think this team is more than like worthy of a championship at this point. Um, honestly, can't rebuild a team better than this. See you guys at the end of season number three. All right, man, finally at the end of season number three, Clyde Drexler wins the MVP award, averaging 23.5 points a game, 6.5 rebounds, and 6 assists. I'm guessing he might have had better numbers than LeBron. That's really the only reason he would win the MVP over LeBron. Dennis Smith is your rookie of the year on the Brooklyn Nets. Danilo Gallinari, sixth man of the year for the Denver Nuggets. Terry Giles wins the defensive player of the year for the Hawks. KJ McDaniels wins the most improved. How old is he? 25. And Daniel Sherman, our coach, coach of the year, one game worse than last year, 71-11. We were like 13 games up on the second seed of like Warriors or Lakers, I believe. But Clyde Drexler obviously makes the All-NBA third or first team as he did win the MVP award. So they look forward to already in 87. Damn. Um, let's see. Any more Trailblazers? Yes, LeBron James, All-NBA second team. Uh, did I miss anyone? Please tell me I didn't miss anyone. Does not look like I missed anyone. So I'll show you guys standings first. Yep, 15 games up on the Lakers. Man, if we don't rule the Western Conference this year, 
I'm going to be so mad. Uh, player stats on the year, though. Yes, Clyde Drexler did have better numbers than LeBron. Uh, not not too bad, though, at all for either of them. Uh, rebounds with LeBron with 7.5, and, and then assists with LeBron with 6.5. So, all right, here we go. Taking on the Spurs once again in the first round. Who, who is that on the oh, Tim Hardaway. I'm stupid. Uh, Kawhi and Aldridge still playing pretty well. They have Al Horford now. Uh, you know what? I'm so confident. I'm going to send them around. All right, we sweep them. Taking on the four seeded Warriors, who have I just read you their wow. They have how is this like a four seed? They have I mean, they have the goddess Kelly Olynyk with the most beautiful hair I've ever seen in my life. All right, Tim Hardaway, Chris Mullen, and Mitch Richmond. They're big three. Let's go ahead and see if we can beat them with Simmons. Oh my god! All right, why is like I just don't understand why that like happens. All right, no more minutes for Carlos Boozer. Carlos Boozer does not help your team win a championship. I will hop in if I have to, but good first quarter, terrible second quarter, terrible third quarter right now. Come on. I'll hop in if I have to, but I don't want to have to. <sighs> okay, man. Going to a game six with this team. Didn't want to have that to happen, but let's go. We're in Golden State, but oh, come on. No. Yes. Pull away. Huge second quarter for us. And does not look like we're going to look back. Wait. Yeah. No. We are good. And the seven-seeded Pelicans beat the Thunder. How much easier could have made it? Oh, my God. I just had a seizure. How much easier could they have made it for? Oh, my God. How is this? Gee, oh, my God. How is this a seven-seed, man? Honestly. All right. You know what? I don't even care. Let's go game by game. We're up 2 nothing. We're up 3 nothing. Who even needs to play a game that we've earned? Never mind. That made no sense. But... We had to play Michael Jordan and his Bulls and Scottie Pippen and Horace Grant and Jeremy Lin because Jeremy Lin was on the 91 Bulls. All right, here we go. Game by game, we lose game one. We win in game two. Fix the rotations. Just don't lose. Don't lose. All right, we're up two. <sighs> That's what happens when you give Carlos Boozer minutes, I swear to God. All right, elimination game, and we're battling. Uh, looks like we're going to pick up a win, though. All right, we win there. Biggest moment. Nope, no, 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 no. We win when Carlos Boozer doesn't play. So no Carlos Boozer will not play. Okay. I need... All right, you know what? Actually, PJ Tucker, you're not playing. Uh, Kevin Duckworth, you're going to get a few more minutes. All right, just spread this out real evenly. 30 minutes for Bloods, Blood So, and then uh, 35 for both. Our big three of Drexler, Simmons, and LeBron. Whew. We are in Portland. Come on. Let's control it. All right. Decent first quarter, one by one. Going on the second quarter. Tied the second quarter. This is a battle, man. All right. Not a good start to the third quarter. We're just... No. Just come back. Let me play so I can win. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Five seconds. I have to hop in. If they have the ball, I have to play some defense. All right, man. Seven, five, five seconds ago, we they have the ball. I have to play some lockdown D right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lock it down. Lo no, no. What the fuck? Here's no. It's good. This game is all even. Oh my god. His last game. Oh my god. We are back. I can't stop laughing that we, I actually just did that, man. Clyde Drexler. Whew, that was the most clutch play I think I've ever... That, that was better than Van Exel's shot. I don't know if you guys remember that, if you watched the Lakers video. But I don't know how. I just threw a full court lob or pass, and he just dunked it. I thought he was going to run out of time with the dunk. I was going to be pissed if he like dunked it and then didn't lay it in and it went in. But you know what, man? We won. I saw that LeBron was the Finals MVP. Probably should have been Clyde Drexler after that dunk, but man, we got it done. <laughs> Looking at this roster: LeBron, Clyde Drexler, the Goat, Eric Bledsoe, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, Jerome Kersey, Drazan Petrovic, Kevin Duckworth, Carlos Boozer, PJ Tucker, Stephen Zimmerman, Edgar Teague, and Ellis Frank. Never heard of these two. Probably not even real players. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. Definitely one of my most intense ones. And I, yeah, I'll catch you guys all in the next one.